This is a review of, oh jeez, his name, Kenneth Ross, I think is his name, uh, his book on the elementary, elementary analysis, the theory of calculus. Um, I really like this book. Well, I didn't like it so much at the time, but real analysis is as hard as it is. Um, in retrospect, it was really helpful because now I can read Rudin and not be horribly confused like I would have been then. Even, and I had a mathematical background, not a very strong one, but a, a pretty good background for reading um, an analysis text. And I had a, a upper division um, linear algebra and upper division um, uh, abstract algebra. Those both helped in understanding the, I, the idea of proof and the idea of um, yeah, the, the idea of proof and the idea of how mathematics works. Um, so I would, I would actually highly recommend this book for teaching. Someone suggested to pair it with Rudin. I would, I'd think about that. That might be a very good idea. Um, I'd, I'd have to read Rudin more carefully. I haven't. I have uh, what's called adult Rudin, real and complex, but I have, and I read parts of it, but I haven't read Rudin's un, uh, undergraduate analysis. Um, Although I've read Royden's upper Royden's book that goes into analysis and goes it's called Real Analysis it goes into um, uh, measure theory and that was easily understood because of this book. Um, I think some people will complain because it's not it's 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 not there's not much to it it's it's definitely not a reference book. Rudin's Rudin is a reference book. It's also a pedagogical book, but it really is. I mean, it really works well as a reference. Um, Kenneth Ross doesn't, but it's pedagogically sound, in my opinion. I'm not an expert on pedagogy, so I can't say that because of someone's theory, it's, it's good. Um, but I really liked it. It'll, in retrospect, um, it'll help you with your with getting through a de uh, analysis with a, a more reasonable, not more reasonable. It, it'll be easier for those like me who thought who were kind of still confused by. Um, but we're still kind of in a vague idea of what math would be. And I think between this and a good abstract algebra book, good linear algebra book too, you can really get a lot of um, good information. And you'll get you'll start to realize whether you really want to do this or not, and I think it's just a good book. Um, so, yeah, I give it five stars.